everyone, I'm Gracial and I'm going to be demonstrating how to administer methylprednisolone um, through mini bag infusion. So I'm just going to perform hand hygiene quick. So prior to beginning, you've already checked the physician's order with the MAR to um, ensure the, med the information was cr transcribed correctly. Um, so now I'm going to just grab my vial from Pixis. So the me uh, my patient is Emma. Uh, writes in. It's been number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Thirty years old. It's for Dr. Nichols. Allergy to morphine, and she's receiving. She's going to be receiving methylprednisolone, also known as methylprednisolone sodium succinate. Um, so the reason she's receiving this medication is because she had acute exasperation of asthma. So it's 75 milligrams, in the, but however the dose in the vial is 125 milligrams. Uh, so I will need to reconstitute and dilute um, and obtain my required dose. So I'll need IV, and it's, it can be given IV, and it's Q6H, so it is uh, ordered for now. Uh, furthermore, the vial seems to um, be intact. There's, it's not, um, there's no breaks in serility, and it's not expired. Okay, so I'm just going to um, quickly, before I do that, I'm going to check my parental drug monograph. So it's methylprednisolone sodium succinate, also known as solium metarol, which is the brand name here. Uh, so it's, it's a steroid and can be administered by a student nurse. Um, the usual dose is 40 to 250 milligrams, so my dose is 75 milligrams as well within that. So I'm going to keep. So, so I have a vial size of 100, 125 milligrams. So I'll need to add two milliliters of my sterile water. So just checking sterile water. It's I'm intact, not expired. And then I'll get the final volume of two milliliters. So the concentration in that vial will be 62.5 milligrams per milliliter. So the dose, so the volume I'll need from this vial is 1.2 milliliters after doing the calculation. Um, and then for IV intermittent, which I will be doing, for doses less than 250 milligrams, after reconstitution, dilute further in 50 to 100 milliliters of normal saline or D5W and administer over 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm choosing a 100 ml bag of normal saline and I'm administering it over 30 minutes because my patient um, is showing signs of dehydration so I want them to have as much fluids as possible so I'm choosing 100 milliliters bag. I'm choosing normal saline over D5W because my patient isn't showing any, um, uh, needs the, does not need the nutritional requirements of the dextrose. Uh, furthermore, the, they'll need the 30, I'm going to administer over 30 minutes because this is the first time they're receiving this medication and I want to monitor for any symptoms of adverse effects. Um, so just looking at the maximum concentration, after um, calculating it, my uh, final concentration in the mini bag will be 0 0.74 milligrams per milliliters. Um, so it's compatible with the normal saline solution that's running uh, right now. And potential hazards in, include sodium retention, edema, and increase in blood glucose, which I will uh, tell the patient about. So I'm going to just perform hand hygiene one more time, and I'm going to um, swab my uh, vial. So I'm just going to hold this. So I'm going to swab both my vials, my sterile water vial. So I would swab it for 30 seconds and let it dry for 15. And then same with my medication vial. Swap for 30 seconds, let it dry for 15. Okay, so I'm going to use a 3 ml syringe because um, I need 2 milliliters of sterile water. So just be careful to wing it back. So it's 2 ml and 2 milliliters. So I have two milliliters. Okay, I have two milliliters. And since I've already cleaned the vial, I'm going to put it in my and with the air. Okay. And then I'm going to use a scoop method to um, recap the vial, the, the syringe, sorry. So now I'm going to just roll the valve between my hands, just making sure not to introduce any air bubbles. Just checking for any sediments, and there is none. So I'm just going to re-swap the vial to obtain my order dose of 75 milligrams, so that would be, again, 1.2 milliliters. Swap for 30, let it drip for 15. So 
Okay, and then I'm going to recap. And I'm just going to make sure I have the correct dose. No bubbles. Okay, and then I'll show. So it's two milliliters, or 1.2, sorry. That I've done that, I'm going to perform my second check with my um, vial, my syringe that I have prepared a label for, and um, the MAR itself. So it's for Emma Wrightson, it's methylprednisolone, methylprednisolone, and again methylprednisolone in the vial. So 75 milligrams, 75 milligrams, which is 1.2 milliliters. Um, it was from a one, 125 milligram vial, can be given IV. It's going to be given IV, can be given IV, and Q6H. So it's going to be um, the time to be ordered, administered is now. So now that I've done that, I'm going to just that. So another alcohol swab. <coughs> now let's swab the port of the mini bag for 30 seconds. Let it dry for 15. Again, yeah, just make sure 1.2. And then again, the port was swapped to instill the medication. Being careful not to perforate the bag. And then normally I would just discard the um, syringe into the sharps container. And I'm going to mix the medication. It's just making sure. Again, also noting that the um, mini bag I was using is not expired and um, it was intact. Okay, now that I'm done that, I'm going to gather my supplies that I'll need for the bedside. So I have this, my tape that I've already prepared with my date, time, and initials. Um, I'll need some alcohol swaps. Yeah, so now I'm going to enter my patient's bedside. So just performing hygiene. So as I'm entering the patient's room, I'm just going to ensure they're not in any signs of distress. Um, the bed rails would normally be up, but um, they're down right now um, because and uh, the bed was at the lowest position and the patient is in any distress. So I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm your, I'm Grace, I'm your student nurse and I'm here to administer your uh, methylprednisolone medication. So I'm just going to check your armband. So it's Emma Wrightson, phone number 1234567893, 30 years old, Dr. Nichols, allergy of morphine. Great, can you tell me your name? Okay, and your date of birth? And do you have any allergies to morphine? Okay. Um, now that I've done that, I'm just going to do a quick inspection of um, the medication that's currently instilling. So the tubing um, does not need to be changed. The bag seems to be going fine. There's no air bubbles. Clamps are not just following down. I'm going to palpate the site. The patient isn't complaining of any pain. Um, there's no redness. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to um, do my um, administer my medication. I'll just do my third check before that. So putting the label on the medication. So I have methylprednisolone, methylprednisolone, 75 milligrams, 75 milligrams, and I've already checked that it, it's the right patient by checking the armband. So it's for IV, which is why I have the mini bag, and Q6H. So it's the time to be ordered is administered is now. Um, so I'm going to tell the completion of the medication. So the, the medication you're receiving is methylprednisolone. It's for your acute exacerbation of asthma. However, some side effects you can experience is um, edema, so any swelling. Um, also, you can experience uh, hyperglycemia, so high blood glucose symptoms, so blurry vision or um, any dizziness. So now I'm going to just lower my primary bag. Now that I've done that, I'm going to get ready to. Again, all the caps are on. I'm just going to also move the clamp up and ensure. Okay. 
I've done that, I'm going to, maintaining sterility, I'm going to spike the mini bag. And that's fine. So, this here. So, again, it's clamped. I'm going to put the mini bag here. And then I'm going to put it in the port before the pump because the patient is, um, because I want the medication to be regulated by the pump itself. So, just grabbing all the pulse swabs. So just clean the port, we'll clean it for 30 seconds, let it dry for 15, and now just maintaining uh, the sterility of this port, I'm going to remove this, attach it, and ensure it's tight. Okay, right, now I'm going to brack prime, so I'm going to just slowly lower the bag, Right, and now that I've done that, um, the drip chamber is one third to one half full. I'm going to uh, do my secondary. So secondary. So the volume, um, the rate I'm going to be doing is 2.202 milliliters per hour, and the volume to be infused is 101. Point two, so I'm just going to do 101 milliliters and then so that is my read my volume confirm secondary and then I'm going to uh, press start to begin the secondary and then ensuring the clamps open medication seems to be infusing there's no um, bubbles and so furthermore I would come back I would uh, stay with the patient for uh, 30 for for about 30 um, minutes just to uh, for sorry for a few minutes um, to ensure that the patient has um, uh, received all the medication and also um, I would come back in half an hour to ensure that the primary bag has been um, installed I'm gonna also label my tubing so the next nurse knows when to change it just doing that and then I'm going to um, also tell the patient to, uh, to monitor for symptoms of um, the medication so okay so now that I can also see that there's three drops so I know that the medication is infusing um, I will also um, document that I have given this medication by indicating my date time and initials and that's it